guys, so today on Book 2 Corner I'm going to be talking about the book College Weekend by R.L. Stein. College Weekend is about this girl named Tina who goes to visit her boyfriend who she hasn't seen in a while who's in college and she takes her cousin Holly with her and as soon as she gets there she doesn't see her boyfriend anywhere and then his roommate Chris shows up and is like, hey, Josh went on um, some kind of geology thing and he's not going to be back till tomorrow or really late tonight. And Chris is a little bit weird because he like stares at Tina the whole time but he's also kind of charming. She doesn't really mind too much um because he's not like handsy or anything. He just like knows the kind of stuff she likes and like knows stuff about her boyfriend Josh? Is his name Josh? Knows stuff about her boyfriend Josh that she doesn't know and it's it's kind of weird. So they go off to a party and her cousin Holly gets separated and Chris is like oh she must have went with some girl that used to go to high school with her named Melissa and they're in like uh she's she's a drama major so she went to go show Holly the drama department stuff and they usually stay out all night so she probably won't be home tonight. So after the party, Tina goes back to the room by herself and she thinks somebody comes into her room in the middle of the night and then when she wakes up nobody's there, but she thought it was Holly, but Holly still isn't there the next morning when she wakes up. And neither is her boyfriend Josh. This girl named Carla shows up and she's the girlfriend of one of Josh's best friend. He supposedly went on the camping trip too with Josh and she comes and she's like, hey, they told me that the car broke down and they're not going to be in for a while. Um, I'm going to go pick them up. Tina has to stay with Chris the whole day and they, she keeps trying to go look for Holly but Chris is like, here, let me show you this, let me show you this. And he keeps coming up with like all these, I guess, reasonable explanations and for things. Like she's like, hey, why was, why was Josh's hiking boots still in the closet and he's like I guess you got a new pair and she's like okay and she's like hey why did he leave his keys here and he's like I guess he's got a spare and he didn't want those ones to get lost in the desert or whatever because they have like a keychain on them that Tina gave him and she's like okay so pretty much any explanation that Chris comes up with seems completely possible to Tina and she just kind of goes with it well they go to this carnival and he kind of freaks out a little bit because he he like kisses her and he had a girlfriend named Judy who died I guess in a car accident and he calls her Judy at one point and he's like oh I'm sorry you just look a lot like her and then uh, Tina wants to be a model so he's like hey my uncle is this famous photographer I showed I said I would show him some of your photos so let's go take some in my studio and they're on the way to the studio and he takes some pictures but then he like asks her to put this really dark wig on then he starts freaking out and calling her Judy and saying that like he he doesn't want to have to kill her again and shit kind of goes south from there like locks her in a dark room and that's when she sees there's all these pictures that had been on Josh's wall that she had given him of her blown up and like hanging up in the dark room and then she opens the closet and her dead boyfriend falls out and she starts freaking out and she tries to leave and as she's trying to escape she finds Holly like unconscious in this one room and she said that like I guess she figured out what happened to either Holly had figured out that Chris was gonna turn Tina into his ex-girlfriend Judy like put her in a wig and make her pretend to be Judy and so he locked her away in this room and was gonna leave her there to die well Carla shows up with Steve and she's like hey I figured out or well at first she pretends to be on Chris's side and because he's waving like these scissors at the girls and is gonna kill him and then they get the scissors away and she's like yeah I figured out what happened with Josh and Judy not too long ago and so I was just trying to like play along with him to keep him calm and then I was gonna go to the police so that's kinda how it ends is they tackle Chris and Tina's just kinda standing there all sad. Um, I have to say this is one of the saddest most bummer R.L. Stein books I've read yet. It, it just usually like at the end of the R.L. Stein book everything comes together and there's a couple casualties but they're not usually important people but the fact that her boyfriend is dead and that's like what the whole story is leading up to is her meeting up with him again is is pretty much a bummer because it doesn't end on a happy note it ends on her just standing there being sad and uh, that's so I haven't read that in an R.L. Stein book yet where things didn't work out. That was a surprise to me. Overall the book was okay. Uh, wasn't that great especially because I really wanted stuff to work out. Next I'll be reading the Dead Life card. I haven't started it yet and then that'll be it for R.L. Stein Theater here for my booktube corner of the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Love you guys. Bye.